Hello everyone, Tommy J here and welcome back to Enter the Arena. So we've got this Warlock deck going here, we're currently 4 for 1 which is alright, not bad. Uh, the deck is very, very minion heavy, but all the minions are quite good. So three Dread Infernals, three Void Callers, we even have two different giants. Unfortunately, there are very, very few spells. We have a Shadow Bolt, a Demon Fire, a Sense Demons, and a Shadow Flame. So, yeah. Yeah, I'm honestly not sure how far this deck could go. I'll be happy with six to seven wins, to be honest. Um, but yeah, no, that... Triple Void Caller could potentially be absolutely amazing, being able to get those Infernals and stuff out early. That's the plan anyway. Let's see how it goes. Alrighty, let us begin. Shaman. Oh, the Shamans are really iffy, actually. Alright. I'm actually going to ditch all four of these. And what am I going to get? Mountain Giant? Dancing Swords. Alright. Um, yeah, it's not terrible. I mean, if I wanted to play a Handlock, I could, but in game two, that went terribly for me. So I don't think I'm going to do that. What I might do is coin into the Dancing Swords, depending on what they do. Melok Tidehunter? Yep. Coining the Dancing Swords. Um, if he has a Lightning Bolt, I could be in a bit of trouble. But, yeah, hopefully he doesn't. And I do have a fair few turn 3 plays, so hopefully I'll draw one of them and I'll actually have something else to put down. But yeah, um, worst case right now for me, he has a Lightning Bolt. Which he does. Damn it. <laughs> oh well. And Armani Berserker. Alright. Now what do I have? I don't really have any play right now. So I'm just going to tap. Now next turn, I do have a play. I can drop the Spellbreaker or the Void Caller. I'm not going to drop the Dark Iron Dwarf. Um, yeah. I might drop the Void Caller. But he has absolute ball control right now. Ooh. That is quite scary, actually. Alright, let's Void Caller right now and end the turn. Next turn, I'll be able to Mountain Giant. I'll probably be able to Sea Giant. Or, yeah, I can drop a multitude of things depending on what happens. Ideally, I want to be able to remove this Death Lord or at least get around it. What I might have to do is silence it if I can't kill it. I mean, I will get a minion out of, ooh, out of killing it, but, yeah, damn, he's just rushing me down. Okay, what's my best option here? I have five mana. If he drops another taunt. Okay, healing. Right, so I'm not going to be able to get through this. Um... How much damage does he have? He has, well, a lot. There's the potential bloodlust next turn. So I really need to get a taunt on the board. On the other hand, I could silence the flame tongue. He's still going to hit me for six if I silence the flame tongue. This could be a very short and very terrible game, but I feel like this is my best move. And I'm just going to hit that. It's down to two health. He's probably going to hit it with his Murloc. Um, yeah. Honestly, I don't see this ending very well for me. I just wasn't able to pick up any tempo whatsoever. I wonder if I could have done anything differently. I'm not too sure if there was anything I could have done differently. Anyway, next turn, I have a Sea Giant Felguard. Um, ooh, I wonder if this will pull out the Felguard. Pull out the Infernal, please. Yes, good. Good. I want to be able to play the Felguard. And having that Sea Giant as well may actually help me out. And thankfully, that Infernal is actually going to be able to attack. Oh, Lightning Bolt. And finishing it. Damn it. Okay, now I can't afford to play both of my things. Uh, 
And that's back up to six health. All right, well, I have to fell guard. Let's attack that, shadow bolt it. What am I gonna get? Sengen Shield Master, and I'm gonna drop the fell guard as well. So I do have that double taunt on the board. I'm on eight health, but at least I'm picking up a little bit of momentum here, which is really what I need. Um, with a bloodlust, he would be able to clear my board as like he'd be able to get through both of the taunts. Fire Elemental. He doesn't have enough mana for a Fire Elemental, which is good. But yeah, he does have enough mana for a Bloodlust. What are my options next turn? Sea Giant is a pretty decent option. I could also Frostwolf Warlord, depending on what he takes out. Um, yeah, I'm going to have six mana. Life Tap is out of the question this low, particularly against a Shaman. They could have multiple Fire Elementals or Lava Burst or something like that. Probably going to be a taunt. Nope. That was a 50 50. It would be a taunt. Fairy Dragon. Oh, a Shadow Flame right now would make me so happy. Nope. Not attacking. Weird choice, to be honest. Let's drop the Sea Giant. And then the Frostwolf Warlord. I'm going to clear as much of his board as I can. Um, this is only on one health, and I want to keep my taunts as alive as possible. So, I'm going to do it this way. I'm not too fussed about that healing totem being on the board. I'm okay with that. Um, but yeah, that Wrath of Air. Yeah, the Wrath of Air totem I needed to remove because a potential Forked Lightning or something would be able to finish off that Fell Guard if he has a Wrath of Air totem out. I mean, I have ball control right now, but he could just be toying with me. How much potential damage do I have next turn? 8, 8, 16, plus 6 is 22, plus 4 from these two is 26. Is that a hex? Frost Elemental. All right. Well, I'm... Don't kill it. Ah, damn it. Now, I have a bit of a decision to make here. I could potentially buff this to kill the Frost Elemental, but that would mean I'm losing, um, losing the Taunt. Then I can kill that again. I'm on 8 health. Is What's the possibility of him having a charge? He does have a weapon, so he needs a charge with 6 damage or a bloodlust. I... I honestly don't know what to do here. Because what I'm thinking is I buff the Shield Master with the Abusive Sergeant to take out the Frost Elemental, then I kill it again with the Frostwolf Warlord. But that leaves me without a taunt. However, if I just kill that... The Frostwolf's dead next turn, regardless. No, I'm killing that. I'm I'm taking it out. Get in there and fight, maggot. <laughs> I feel like it's my best shot. And then I'll play the Berserker. If he has a Bloodlust, I'm dead. Simply put, <laughs> I will be dead. Um, but I felt like that was by far my best option, what I did just then. If he has a Wind Fury and a Rock Biter, I'll be dead. <laughs> Unfortunately, with Shamans and their minion buffing, there are lots of different ways I could potentially die right now. Dark Iron Dwarf. Hitting me. I wonder if he's just toying with me. That's the worst, the fear that they are just toying with you. Anyway, um, if he doesn't kill me this turn, how much damage can I do to him? 8, 8, 16, 20 with the Dark Iron Dwarf, 22. So I can't quite kill him. I can, however, wipe his board. Don't be torn. Good, not torn. Okay, let's see what I get. Shadow Flame! 
Arjun Commander. That's okay. Now, how do I want to do this? I do definitely want to kill as much as possible, which means I either use the Argent Commander or the Dark Iron Dwarf to take out one of these. Because um, if I Dark Iron Dwarf this, it can kill that. Then... Yeah, I just have to do as much damage as I possibly can right now. So let's Dark Iron Dwarf. I'll save the charge. I may as well drop the Acolyte of Pain as well. Hit that. Now, I'm going to run the Frostwolf Warlord into this, because it leaves him on one health. I'll run that into that, and buff up the Berserker by killing that. But, yeah, there, there are so many ways he could finish me off right now. It's all about what he top decks. If he doesn't kill me this turn, I think I have him, though. Ooh, is that a lightning bolt? If he had a lightning bolt in his hand right now. Anyway, how much damage do I have? Um, six. Fourteen. Yeah, he's he's well dead. If he doesn't kill me right now. Which he hasn't. Yes, he hasn't. Oh my god. <laughs> wow. It's just... Oh, God. That was just the most tense game of my life. One HP. One HP. <laughs> God. That was, that was amazing. I just want to say, if that Death Lord hadn't given me my Senjin Shield Master, I would have been dead. Because, I mean, how many taunts do I have in this deck? There's the Sengen Shield Master, and there's the Fell Guard. And I drew... <laughs> I drew the Fell Guard, and the Sengen Shield Master got put out. That was just... Yeah, that, that was absolutely ridiculous. I didn't get any early plays, but I did get some serious luck to come back from that. Just getting those two taunts. I mean, there were a few stages where drawing the Shadow Flame would have just... Yeah. Helped me... Helped me come back much quicker, but yeah, those two taunts, definitely all on them. Anyway, Hunter. Haven't dressed a Hunter in a while. Hopefully he doesn't have too many Unleash the Hounds, because that hasn't been nerfed yet. Um, I'm going to ditch the Acolyte of Pain. I'll keep... actually... I'm going to keep both of them, because situationally, the Acolyte of Pain may be better than the Raging Wargun. Unstable Ghoul. Good. That is a nice anti-Hunter deterrent. So I might even hold that in my hand for a little bit. Because that is just... Yeah, whenever I think he's going to play an Unleash the Hounds, put that down. And the Unleash the Hounds is worthless. What do you have for me? Nothing. Good. Well, I have an Argent Squire. I'm glad I drew that. It's always nice to have a turn one play, particularly one with Divine Shield, because it just, yeah, it puts so much pressure on the board. Um... I'm going to Dancing Swords. I was going to play the Unstable Ghoul, but yeah, Dancing Swords is a good play. If he decides to remove the Divine Shield on the Argent Squire, I can just finish off the Fairy Dragon with the Argent Squire. If he drops an explosive trap or something, I can still use the Dancing Swords to kill this and then kill another minion. There's lots of options for me. Ooh. Interesting. Okay, what I think I'm going to do is just hit the Fairy Dragon with this. And... Raging Wargan. It will die. But I'm okay with that. So let's... You hit that. You hit that. So he now has to make a decision about whether he's going to take out the Dancing Swords, take out the Wargan, or I guess he could multi-shot, which uh, has a 1 in 3 chance of not working. Well, sorry, not working for me. Because, yeah, if the Argent Squire were to die to... or get... Sorry, let me start again. Okay, that's, that's what I was talking about. There is a 1 in 3 chance of that happening, which is just... Devastating. Um, I'm going to drop the Void Caller and continue hitting his face. I have an Infernal in hand. 
yeah, no, uh, there were three minions on the board, and the multi-shot could have potentially, yeah, not hit that would have been ideal. What am I going to draw? Scarlet Crusader? Cool. Well, I'm actually just going to finish that off. That's going to give me that big fella. And then I'm going to drop my Sentient Shieldmaster because I am taking a lot of damage. And Unleash the Hound's Hunter's Mark would do quite well against me right now. He actually has a lot of cards. Seven cards. Wow. Violet Teacher? Two mana. What do you have? A secret? Okay. Well, this is a fairly easy check. Let's just run that into that. Okay. And you know what? Let's drop these two. So that is an explosive trap. It's got to be. There's nothing else it could be. I think. Yeah. Misdirection's out. Snake trap's out. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> Nicely played. Did not even consider a mind control tech. Well, I guess I'm going to take out that Dread Infernal. Nope. Not anymore. Well, I guess I still am, just with a different minion. Now, let's hit this, see what I get. Dread Infernal. And you know what? Let's drop the Void Caller. And leave it there. Damn, that Mind Control taking the best possible target. He's getting some good luck with that multi-shot and the uh, taking the one thing I didn't want to lose. Nice, restoring three health. Shadow Bolt. Loot Hoarder. Okay, I think now is the time to drop my Unstable Ghoul. Um, actually, you know what? Let's burn this Explosive Trap. Actually, no. Let's not. Let's hit that. Ooh. No, you know what? This is okay. And the may as well tap. Argent Commander. Okay. Because when this dies to the Unstable Ghoul exploding, it's going to summon my Infernal. And while I could have summoned the Infernal, it would have killed off the Void Caller, and I wouldn't have got anything out of the Void Caller. There we go. Deadly shot. Damn it. Random animal companion, which one are you going to get? That's alright. I am rather low on health, once again. Common problem for me. Okay, Divine Shield, running that into... Well, it doesn't really matter. Because I'm killing the other one with a Shadow Bolt. Both of us are fairly low on cards. It looks like he hasn't had an Unleash the Hounds. Depending on what he drops this turn, I might actually Mountain Giant. Um, yeah, let's Mountain Giant. And I'm going to save this, because I really want that to hit a minion. I know I could have set off that explosive trap turns ago, but... There we go. That's good. But, I am... Yeah, it's not looking good for me. Okay, dropping this, because it's going to get buffed. Killing that. And now all... Oh, I'm dead. <laughs> I'm actually dead. Because Explosive Trap goes off, puts me down to two, all he needs is his hero power. I'll let him do the damage in case he has a daily, but... Yeah, that's it. One turn off. Unfortunately, I had nothing in my deck that could have healed me up. I guess one of those times I shouldn't have life tapped would be the solution to that. Okay, you could probably chalk that up to some misplays by me. Let's go for a third game, because I really do want to get more than five wins. I'm sick of getting five. 
Like, five's above average, sure, but it's not exceptional. And on this channel, we are exceptional. Hmm. Yeah. I guess I didn't really expect that mind control. The mind control turned it... Yeah, the mind control is definitely what turned it. So many things to expect in Arena, it's great. Okay, a mage. Oh no, not a mage. <laughs> I hate mages. Okay, keeping the unstable ghoul. And I'm actually going to keep the Shadow Bolt, but I'm going to ditch the Argent Commander. Shadow Bolt is quite good against a lot of early mage things. Void Walker. Speaking of good against early mage things. She ditched three cards. Which means she has at least one early play. Hopefully, it's not a Mana Worm. Because Mana Worms are infuriating. I'd even be okay with her burning, like, Coin Frost Bolt or something on the Void Walker. Coin Armani Berserker. Fair enough. Well. I'm gonna drop the Unstable Ghoul. Because... Yeah. The Armani Berserker can't get through both. However, that's not, that's not great value, but a Berserker is actually quite scary. I could now Shadow Bolt to finish that off, which means I would keep this. And I might actually do that. It's keeping a minion on the board, a potentially very annoying minion, because that's stopping her playing anything with one health. And, yeah, while she may not even have something like that... Ooh, secret. Wonder what it could be. Let's... There are lots of things it could be, and I'd rather check next turn. So it could be a duplicate, it could be... Damn it. It could be a, um... What's it called? Ice Barrier, Ice Block, the one that makes you immune on your last turn. Or it could be a summon a, um... Okay, it's not a Mirror Entity. That's what I was trying to say then with those summoning words and stuff. So what's that leave? Duplicate. Or counter spell, because I haven't cast a spell. Well, that's a bit of a bother. So I think I'm going to... Power Overwhelming. Kill that. Drop that. Yep. It is a duplicate. That's alright. <laughs> so I can actually buff this up to a 5-6. And then I will have some mana left over. So let's... She can do... She can't quite kill that. I'm going to play the Berserker. And I'm going to buff this. And just hit her in the face. Now next turn, I have the Dread Infernal. Which will let me... Kill that Spectral Knight. Um, in combination with the Voidcaller. Or in combination with the Berserker. If she doesn't kill the Berserker right now, I'll do it for the Berserker. Silence a minion. Very good value there. Polymorph. Not so good for me. Well, I have enough mana for the Mountain Giant, so I think I'm just going to Mountain Giant and hit that. I could have done the Dread Infernal, but that would have left the Spectral Knight on one health, and I mean, yeah, it, it just wasn't that good of a play. Because, yeah, what I would have done was drop the, oh, run the Sheep into the Spectral Knight, drop the Dread Infernal, and the owl would have died. And that would have been left on one. I Mages just have answers. Cone of cold. Speaking of answers. Hitting me. Smart. Um, I think Senjin Shieldmaster next. Or I could even silence this. Make it attack. I think I might do that. Dropping a silence on the board. 
hitting for eight, that's putting a lot of pressure on her. And yeah, for those of you who don't know, silencing a minion that's frozen unfreezes it. It's a nice little thing you can do. Polymorph. Okay. She's now used multiple pieces of control on that, which I'm alright with. Mad Bomber, come on. Be kind, Bomber, be kind. Yes. Well, I think I'm going to drop the Infernal. This fella. Run that into that. And into that. And Infernal. And I know that means she can ping this, but it means she's going to ping that. And if that Infernal survives, I've got it. However, it's a mage. <laughs> and she has 10 mana. Blizzard. Damn it. I don't have another silence. Frostbolt and ping. Right. Fair enough. Fair enough. So I have the Fell Guard or I have Sense Demons. Let's sen Ooh. Yeah, let's Sense Demons. I don't want to play the Dark Iron Dwarf this turn. And what I might do is Void Caller and Fell Guard. So if the Void Caller dies on my turn, it's going to summon another Void Caller. And that Void Caller is going to be awake. How much more board clear can you possibly have? <laughs> the Ruby and Egg? Oh, ah, clever. I like it. Um, I can Dark Iron Dwarf and Shadow Flame. Should I tap? Yeah, why not? I'm on 19 health. If a mage can get me down from 17 on one turn, where she couldn't on 19, there is some amazing play I've never heard of. <laughs> Fireball? My god, so much ball clear. It's incredible. But, looks like that's game. I was quite worried at one stage. Like, I honestly thought I'd lost that one. Good. Good. Well, we are up to six wins, I think. Six for two, not bad. We can still get a couple more, I think. This deck has some interesting little synergies going for it, and they're really, really cool. Anyway, let's keep going. Hopefully, hopefully, we can get more than just one more game in in this video, so at least one or two wins. I mean, yeah. When I first drafted the deck, I was a little skeptical, but then once I saw it play, it does have a lot of surprising synergy that, yeah, is, uh, is quite nice. Anyway, what are we up against? A Paladin. This will be interesting. I don't really have the silences to deal with the Paladin, I don't think. Sea Giant, Gurubashi, Berserker, Dancing Swords. Well, I'm going to ditch the Sea Giant and the Berserker. Dancing Swords, turn three play. I don't have a lot earlier than a turn three. There we go, a turn one and another turn three. So, that's alright. Voidwalker, turn 1. And we have the Unstable Ghoul, turn 2. So, when I play against a Paladin, my biggest thing is just trying to keep him with nothing on the board. That is honestly my one goal. What are you going to do? Unless he coins into a Fairy Dragon or something, I think I'm going to play my Unstable Ghoul. If he does coin into a Fairy Dragon, I'm losing two minions for one. Okay. Well, I am going to drop the Unstable Ghoul. It gives me a little more board presence, and I have a turn three play, so I don't need to try and life tap for one. It's just going to be, which one do I want to use? Dancing Swords, depending on what he does. Blood Cell Raider. Okay. Let's drop the Dancing Swords and just hit him in the face. I have two taunts alive. Depending on what he does, yeah. I'm in a decent spot. Coin, are you coin Hammer of Wrathing? Coin Consecrating? True Silver Champion. Nice. Ah, and that's going to let him finish off that Voidwalker. Clever. Clever. Let's 
getting lots out of those minions. Well, I'm going to drop another Dancing Swords and that, and I'm going to run that into that, because he can kill it with the sword if he wants. Um, yeah, because it was on three health, he could have killed it with the sword, so running Dancing Sword into that means that the minion is dead. And now there's a one in three chance that I will lose it anyway. Come on, please. Please. No. <laughs> and now I'm going to lose that. Ugh. All these one in three chances that these people are getting, it's so annoying. Why can't I get that luck? Okay, tapping. And I'm going to drop that. Run that into that. So, depending on what he does, we have an okay board. He could potentially drop two minions and kill off my Scarlet Crusader, which would be quite annoying. Don't ping the Crusader. Don't ping the Crusader. Yes, that's what we want. That is what we want. Oh, clever. Run it into me. If you don't, I'm going to silence it. Cool. Oh, Stormwind Knight. No. Or I could Sea Giant. No, I'm going to silence. I need to get rid of that. And by doing that, I do get rid of it. Now I can tap as well. There were a few ways I could have played that, and I mean, now he can just run that Silverhand Recruit into this, or if he has a Consecrate, he can use the Silverhand Recruit to kill that, and I lose my board. But that Knife Juggler was going to become a serious problem, and he does have a big card advantage. Hammer of Wrath? Holy Wrath. Oh, nice. Perfect. Perfect cost for him. <laughs> well, I have a Stormwind Knight. And a Sense Demon, so I'm going to Sense Demons first, but... Even though I got the Void Caller, I'm going to Stormwind Knight. With a Paladin, my general strategy is kill things as quickly as you can, because... If they get the opportunity to double Blessing of Kings something, unless I have some way to deal with it, I have problems. True Silver Champion. See, if he were to Blessing of Kings that Worgen, it's probably going to win him the game. Um, well, I think I'm going to double Void Caller. Void Caller Felguard. I know I'm destroying a Mana Crystal, but it's getting me something on the field that he can't kill with his damn sword. Because <laughs> he's got another one. Humility? Ah, oh, clever. Very clever. And this is going to draw out my Void Caller. Which hopefully I can draw something else. Some other demon. War Golem. That's a big threat to me. Sengen Shieldmaster isn't going to help. I think I might Sea Giant. And I have to deal with that Worgen, even though it means. Should, my choices are tap and see what I get or play the sea giant if I tap and get an infernal which I have a 3 in 14 chance of getting that's oh, 20% it's very good for me like very good for me if I don't I'm in trouble no it's, it's a 20% chance I'm not going for it which means that unfortunately that void caller isn't getting his battle cry off Next turn. Ooh, nice. He's going to hit me for seven. Oh, no. Shadow Flame. Shadow Bolt. Not bad. What I'm going to do is taunt. Shadow Bolt the 4-4 and hit that. Do I want to tap? You know what? Why not? Demon Fire. Not going to help me this turn, but next turn it could be quite useful. That tap was a little risky, I mean, down to 11 health. And unfortunately, because it's Arena, we have no idea what he's making. Wow. It's the Minion Flood. Please, Shadow Flame. Please. I need it. Without it, I lose right now. I don't, actually. I think I can live through this. Victory. 
Barely. I mean, is this really living? <laughs> if he has a single Hammer of Wrath, I'm gone. Double Consecrate, gone. Any sort of buff. One health. That's just no good. Yep, Consecrate. Well, that's annoying, but I guess we're ending the run at 6-3. Let's see what rewards we get. Hey, 80 gold. That's not bad. More efficient than just buying a pack. And let's see what we get in the back. <laughs> nothing. Yet again, nothing. Ah, well. Anyway guys, thanks for watching. I'm um, sorry for the longer episode this time. This has been Tommy J. If you enjoyed the video, feel free to favorite, like, and or subscribe. Uh, if there's anything you want to see on the channel, leave me a comment and I'll see if I can get around to it. Thanks for watching and have a good one.